Dun, dun. In today's video, we're checking out the Killer Shark Boost from Kalen. This is an affordable boost overdrive pedal that really wallops the front end of your amplifier. Before we get into it, a huge thank you to Kalen for sending this out for the video. I really appreciate it. You can check it out using the links in the description below. You're gonna hear this in the context of a jam track, and then we'll go over to some isolated tones, and I'll show you the types of ways you can use this in context to different situations. Let's get into it. Here's the Kalen Killer Shark Boost pedal up close. I love this pedal simplicity. We get a volume control, tone control, and gain control. The further we turn them up this way, the more of each we're going to get. Now I love the design on this as well. It looks really cool. And another great addition is an LED light behind the nine volt DC in over here. This is considered a mini pedal, but it's not as small as those ones that have those micro potentiometers. I really love the size of this. It makes for a space saving design without the compromise of usability. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all the different ways you can use a pedal like this while also twiddling the knobs. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with my Telecaster. This is loaded with a set of the Danny Gatton pickups and we're going into the clean channel of the amplifier. There's so many different ways you can use a pedal like this, but I'm just gonna start by showing you how it actually sounds before we put it into some sort of context. This is a bridge pickup without the pedal on. All right, pedal on with everything at one o'clock, which is a good starting place for this particular pedal. Volume control down. So that's extremely dynamic and when we turn back up you get all the gain and volume back. Beautiful. Up next I've set my clean channel up on the edge of breakup. It's kind of already in that sort of territory. And then we're gonna push the pedal just by using the volume control more so than the gain. So this is the bridge pickup. That's just the amp tone. Have a listen to this. Yeah, that old school tone, pretty cool. Up next, I'm gonna show you how the Killer Shark works before another overdrive pedal. I've got the Green Mamba Overdrive. This is based on the legendary tones of the TS-808, Tube Scream style pedal. This is just the Green Mamba. <laughs> that pedal it sounds awesome killer shark is now engaged
Sounds unreal. Let's switch positions. Now I've reversed the order of the pedal, so my guitar is plugged into the green mumba first and then the killer shark boost is after it. Take a listen to what this does to the tone. <laughs> Kill a shark boost on. The way I've got the killer shark boost dialed in, it's not only louder but you're getting a clearer signal with more top end. So I really like that. If you reverse the order of your pedals, you get drastically different results. This pedal works extremely well in either scenario. Let's say for example, you're playing some blues and you're on your drive channel of the amp, but there's nowhere left to go. What do you do? You can use this as a preamp for a lead solo boost. And I'll show you that now. Then you can solo. Interestingly enough, the Blues Deluxe has a pretty lackluster drive channel, and I would consider that pretty usable. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane. I'm going to talk about the Killer Shark Boost Overdrive slash Boost pedal. This kind of does a lot of different things, very much like a Klon. It gives you more top end if you dial it up, and you can also get a bit of a wallop on the front end if you use the volume control the right way as well. You don't necessarily have to use it into another overdrive. You can simply use it on its own and you get more of a transparent overdrive kind of sound. Until you start really dialing up the gain control, and then it kind of gets a bit gnarly. So this covers a lot of ground without question. Now, Kalen, I've said this for years. They've been making great effects pedals at an affordable price. This is my favorite range of pedals I've had a chance to test and I've reviewed a few of them already. I'll leave the playlist up in the cards. I think if you pair this with one of their delays, or even the green mumba overdrive that I showcased in this video, you'll have a really great sounding rig on a budget. So this gets the big thumbs up. If I had to critique anything with this and the rest of the range of pedals, <laughs> I would say that the instructions need to really explain a little bit more about what's going on inside this. I've done all of this from ear. I'm sure other review videos as they appear online will have a different opinion on each of them, but this is a really great sounding pedal. I just wish I knew a little bit more about the circuit that this is based on. But it kind of covers a wide spectrum of sound, but best used as a boost either before or after another pedal or into a dirty channel of the amplifier. Again, if you like to play with an off clean kind of amp and then you just want a blue solo or something like that, this will definitely be loud enough to push an amp on the front end. Thanks again for watching. A huge thanks to Kalen for sending this out. You can check it out using the links below. Catch you soon. See ya.